Okay, Reptilian shapeshifters. Um, the thing that all these people talk about on these conspiracy theories and stuff, there's hints about them in movies and in music and everything. I'll tell you all about them. Um, yeah, they're about a foot tall. I have it all written down on the Facebook thing. And, uh, yeah, I didn't tell everybody about it from the beginning because the beginning stuff about cloning, it's hard enough to believe anyway, but these things, it's called the secret of Vril. That's their name, is Vril. They're uh, a foot tall. They, uh, they're covered in scales. Usually red, but there's some from the Middle East that are uh, black in scales, right? And then there's another kind entirely, and their eyes are slightly different, but they're still on stalks. And, uh, yeah, they, uh, they have gray scales. And they're a little bit bigger. And a little stronger, too, for being small like that. Anyway, yeah, they uh, I have to describe it. Uh, they, they drone people in such a way. I have a picture of the ceremony. It's called the demonic possession thing. There's no magical nothing about it. It's all like a, it's a parasitic lizard that uh, it ejects its brain out the top of its head. If it doesn't have anywhere to go, it dies. And so the guys, the drones that are drones already, they hold down the person to make sure. Wiggles in there and then it uh, does something. It uh, what they call sweat and the uh, all the stuff in the spinal cord comes out the top of it and everything and it totally takes the person over and makes them what's called a drone. Now it's, uh, there's hints of it all over the place. Uh, people think that it'll never be be believed or anything but rich people and uh, some celebrities and some uh, world leaders and stuff own these things for pets. They all call it with, uh, the secret of Vril, right? Like Alf, the sitcom, you know, kept them as pets, and Alf ate cats. Well, well, these things, what they like to eat, I don't even want to say it on video, but uh, the main thing that they like to eat is children. It's, uh, it's true, because they don't have vaccinations. And uh, what they do is they like to scare their food, too, before they eat it, because it gets adrenaline in them. And uh, they taste better, and they get a slight high off of it from eating it. Uh, I've seen it done as a clone myself, uh, the whole REM German clone thing. Most people get whacked out from uh, from uh, MK Ultra and stuff, but uh, they, they tried to minimize that with me so I could be still good at making these songs and stuff. Like I don't mention the songs and stuff because. I'm not going to say, uh, like, Metallica, Sanitarium, and, uh, what's the other one, the, uh, Enter Sandman, or about REM-driven cloning, and, uh, yeah, they, they call them demons and everything, uh, Oni, and Gremlins, and Mimics, Doppelgangers, everything, like, throughout history, and everybody keeps them a secret somehow, and, uh, when they didn't keep them a secret, uh, and they wrote stuff down, they destroyed that evidence, so uh, there was some hieroglyphics in Egypt and everything that uh, told them all about them, but then they chilled them off and said they were worn away by time, but they weren't. They, they're they covering it up, right? There's not a lot of uh, drums. They, they don't outnumber humans or anything, but they're in high places. But the human people that help them out, out of fear and out of evil, uh, they're scared of... Uh, being found complicit and being executed, pretty much. That's what they're saying there. They're, they're talking to me, like, constantly. Now, they left me alone there for a while, but then they brought me back there again, and uh, I thought that uh, they were going to just leave me alone, and I could tell people about this and raise people's awareness about the things and uh, their critters. And, uh, but no, they're bringing me back now, and now they're all freaking out. And uh, I said, you guys are probably going to get... Messed up. Think about it. You ex you execute uh, kids to these things sometimes, kidnapping kids, sending them to the things, and watching it like a show, like like they're messing me up, right, out there. But real kids though, not even just clones. And uh, clones bad enough, it hurts, right, and uh, messes up your heart and stuff, and makes you sick and everything. So I'm not feeling so good now. Anyway, going to keep this short so I can upload it quick. But these things that are foot tall, right? They sit them on their laps out there because with, as clones you can uh, 
you can sit with them, but if you were to do this in real life, you'd get something like a, like foot and mouth disease, like a, like H1N1, and uh, it gives you warts to handle them and everything. And um, it doesn't matter with clone because they they re re recycle to a new clone after so often anyway. RBM driven Mark II ones anyway. So uh, I'm gonna um, upload this. Hello to everybody that's uh, helping me and everything. Spread this around. Everybody must think that I'm pretty crazy just to do this because I'm probably dead anyway. But yeah, they said that they cut my lifespan in half with like the lifespan of my heart. Everything else is really healthy. But my heart because they sliced it. So they said I'm definitely going to die of a heart attack sometime. And um, yeah, uh, there is some way they can bring it back like a bad negative. I'm hoping that I'm not even just even conscious of it. But uh, yeah, they, they want to get me back. Uh, I'm kind of the biggest problem I've ever had in centuries. Seriously, I'm not bragging because it's not good. I probably won't live through it. But uh, these little little vril things that stick their uh, things up into people's eyes, you have to kill them all. Um, it's very imperative thing to the human race. Oh, their mouths! I have to tell you about their mouths quickly before I go. It's a it's a spike on one of their vertebrae behind their mouth, and between the vertebrae. They push down on their heads like if you were squished down your neck. It, it pushes it down and then the spike goes kadunk and like it pops out like that and they can go and shoot it out and then they suck her onto you with the with their mouth. It's not like a ganashing thing. It's the blood dart you pretty much. And uh, then they suck her onto you and they latch on with the claws, right? Anyways, I'm telling everybody because they had them biting me out there as a clone all the time for punishment for talking about them and about cloning. So I'm just going to talk about them anyway. So, uh, yeah, it could be uh, stupid of me, could not be. No, I don't think it is because everybody has to know about these things. Anyway, up to YouTube. And uh, this is all true, they're called Vril. And uh, secrets out now. Anyway. Uh, thanks. I'll be making more videos about them and stuff. I'll draw them and everything. And uh, I'm not a crazy person. I'm not on meds and I don't need meds. Trust me. This is a uh, real deal. These things are real. I, uh, I, I stomped them before out there as a clone. And cloning's real too. Bad enough. But uh, yeah, I really gotta get these other things because uh, yeah, it's out of control. So, uh, uploading.